Okay, this is the um, last part of um, the solder tutorial for putting in the solder, uh, sorry, new iPod Touch uh, headphone jack. Uh, this is applicable for the 2 and 3. Uh, just going to clean up these pads here uh, with some solder braid. Um, I'm using uh, a narrowish tip um, solder tip, um, some solder braid. Um, uh, roughly about 380 degrees. Um, I say with solder braid, don't take your solder iron off that braid while it's on the board because it will stick there. Keep it on the move and just move it away so the heat's still there. Um, now this last one's a bit difficult, yeah, because you're working near components. Once again, um, there we are, it's off. So we'll just touch these up. Um, I can see a little bit of solder there, but that won't matter. Anyway, right, uh, we'll screw in the new uh, headphone jack. Now I've applied a little bit of double-sided tape in between uh, the body of the headphone jack and the ribbon cable um, to hold it in place because, as you'll see in a minute, it's standing off the board. And you need this as flat onto the board as you possibly can. So what we do is we'll use uh, a little pusher, pushing it, into position and the double-sided tape in between the, the headphone jack and the ribbon cable will hold it in position. Okay, that's basically it. So you should have it flat to the board. You should be able to see through those um, uh, connections there, see the uh, solder pads on the board uh, in order to, to make sure you're aligned properly. This is the solder wire. It's quite thin and what we're going to do same again, uh, same tip, same solder heat, go through each one bit by bit. Yeah, you can see I'm quite steady. Uh, I think I explained that in the last video, but main thing is the jobs are good. And, uh, so we're just going through these bit by bit. Uh, last one, this one we have to take care, be, take a bit more care of because the amount of components are there. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is, because I've only got the solder on there for now, I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure and uh, heat to each of these uh, to make sure we have contact. Not for long, if you can see the amount of time I'm staying on each of these, um, these uh, connectors here, it's not for long. You don't need to, uh, because obviously good heat conductivity is taking place between all of this down to, to the board. So, that's basically all you need to do. So if you have a look, you should have a nice neat finish like that with no burning of the ribbon cable. Yeah, I just need a bit more heat on that one just to um, let it spread along a bit more. Uh, so there we are. That's the finished job. Um, that All you need to do is test it. Anyway, that's the end of that. If you need me, my name's Tony. Uh, there's my telephone numbers and my email address. Good luck.